Hey guys, so I'll be showing you all how I create ringlet curls using the magnetic rollers. So I have already gotten started and my hair has already been detangled, washed, and deep conditioned. And so I'll be using my Hydrolicious Moisturizer for my leave-in as well as my Buttery Bliss for added softness, shine, and definition. And this also works amazing for sealing in all of that good moisture that we'll be applying. So, oh, and water also. All right, so as always, I will be working in sections and you all know that I like to apply my moisturizer starting with my roots first and work my way down to the ends. All right, so I will be applying a little bit at a time. So starting from my roots, working that in, a little bit more to the middle, working that in, and finally a little more to my ends and work that in. So I will be working on the bottom half first. So after applying my moisturizer to this section, I'm just clipping that out of the way. And I will be applying the moisturizer the exact same way to this bottom section. So after applying my moisturizer, I'll be separating my hair in smaller sections, about two to three sections per section, depending on the thickness of the hair. But the goal is to have just enough hair where, just enough where it's not too thick or too thin. So now I am applying my Buttery Bliss to each smaller subsection right before rolling it up. And again, I like to apply my Buttery Bliss the exact same way as I apply my moisturizers, starting from the roots and working my way down to the ends, ensuring it is thoroughly distributed. And this also would act as my curl defining styler. Alright, so what I'm doing right here is making sure that my hair is very smooth, prepping it for the roller. And I like to start about five to six inches away from my ends because you all know I have a lot of hair. So this is just what I like to do. Five to six inches from the ends and I roll that on the roller first, making sure everything is nice and smooth. And I am gently pulling my hair down and rolling it up to my roots ensuring everything is smooth then i just go ahead and snap it right in place all right and i just move on to the next section and just repeat the exact same thing. So again, I had already applied my moisturizer to this section. I applied my Buttery Bliss, making sure the hair is nice and smooth. Starting about five to six inches away from my ends. Pulling the ends of my hair up first. 
wrapping it around the roller and smoothing it, smoothing it with my fingers. And then go ahead and proceed to gently pull my hair down and roll it to my roots. And where I am snapping my rollers, I snap it closest to my root. That is what will hold the rollers in place. Alright, and I do have a loose roller as you all can see, but in order to fix that, I just take the clip off. I re-roll it down to my roots and you want to kind of twist it a little bit in another direction and then put the roller clip back on closest to the root. And as you can see, it's pretty secure. And that's how you fix the loose roller syndrome. All right, and I am just repeating the exact same steps throughout the rest of my head, applying water as needed, apply my leave-in conditioner, and also the buttery bliss on top of that, and then roll my hair up to the roots making sure everything is nice smooth and secure and also I do want to let you all know that when you roll your hair please make sure you are being very gentle with your hair you should not have any kind of pain or discomfort at all like seriously you should be able to shake your head jump up and down move around very comfortably so if you feel any discomfort at all please i beg you please remove your roller and try again So the front of my head I like to call is my frizz prone area. The front of my hair is very frizzy so I'll be showing you all how I tackle, how I tackle the front of my hair. You all see that frizz? Yeah, extremely frizzy for the front of my head. So really I just do the same steps, apply water as needed, apply my moisturizer, and apply my buttery bliss. I still start from the ends of my hair, a couple inches from the ends, row that up, making sure everything is nice and smooth. But what I do a little bit different here is that I keep smoothing my fingers around the roller to make sure everything is nice and smooth and laid down, it's very important. And this is a better view right here. So I've already applied my moisturizer. I'm applying the butter and I'm making sure the hair is nice and smooth. Start a couple inches from the ends. slowly rolling up my hair and as you all see I'm taking my finger and smoothing 
everything in place. You see all that frizz? Yeah. So I keep smoothing it down with my fingers all the way down to the root. And the front can get a bit tricky also, so I am moving other rollers around, keep smoothing the hair down with my finger, and I just put the clip on. All right, and this right here is very, very important. So I am spraying my hair very generously with my herbal hair mist. It is an LA base, so it closes the cuticle of your hair and adds additional shine. And that's pretty much it. Do you all see? My hair is completely rolled and I did use the smaller rollers also. These are the small size magnetic rollers. So I am warning you, it will take quite a bit of time for this all to dry. So I will be sitting under, under my hair dryer for about three, four hours. So see you guys later. Hey.